This one scorched to right. Should deliver Iglesias. Martin with a run scoring single, and the Tigers have pulled over the one. Keep the line moving, scored a run, got Nick coming up. Dones on the mound, doesn't hold runners well, so the Tigers have many options here. Let's took a look at the big boy's big play. Right here, it looks like it's a little hanging slider. Martin. Castellanos drills one to left. Get down and into the corner, it does. Martin's got good speed. Rounding third. Clark says, keep going. Here's a relay home. And it is not in time. Tigers have tied it. Castellanos all the way to third. Clutch play by Castellanos. Yesterday, surrendered his first hit and walk of the season. Candelario punches one to right, and Abreu can't make the play! Castellano scores to give the Tigers their first lead. Well, that's a beauty. Finally got a break. Been wearing out candy, hands all night. Infield in, that's what happens. To retire him. And he drills one down the left field line. Fair ball headed towards the corner. Springer will score. Bregman digging for third. He'll be waved home. Alex Bregman will be safe. And we're tied at two. Jose Altuve snaps it over 11 with a big double. We know how much Altuve likes to harp on to, to offer at the first pitch. Gets a flat slider by Andrew Miller. That pitch just does not have the depth. Andrew Miller is not quite right. This only being his 17th game of the season. And Jose Altuve gets out in front just a little bit, but gets it down into the corner. Brakeman with his speed scores easily. Big okay. swing by Jose Altuve. Altuve ties the game up with a two RBI double, and that is the end of the night for Andrew Miller. Terry Francona goes back to his bullpen. We'll tell you who's coming up next for the Indians. When he struck at eight Brewers in a row, en route to an 11 strikeout performance. Yelich lines one the other way. Nimmo toward the line, diving and makes the catch. Nimmo's defense is getting better and better every day, and that's the best play he's made yet. Especially on that corner. You know, he's moved around a lot, but his jumps in left field are by far much better than the ones he gets in center and right. And diving to his right, just a huge play. That gets by him, it's a triple. Good reaction from Noah. I see you. Rick is doing very well. And Mike Matheny will bring in Harrison Bader to pinch hit. What in the world was that? That's an out. That's out number two. A little quick pitch and a little wry smile from pinch hitter Bader. Mm. A little crick trick. So Bader comes up. And Bader. Taps the ball in front of home plate and tagged out by Cervelli. That right there sums up the night. That's about it. Quick pitch of Bader. Put it in play. It's a fair ball and he's tagged out. Boy, just one of those days. It is. One of the games and it was a period piece. So I'm setting with the producer. Eflin sends one of the air to center field. Pilar going back. And there's the first hit of the game for the Phils. A home run for Zach Eflin. And the Phillies are on the board. It's a 3-1 ball game. Well, that'll get it going a little uh, bit. Showing the rest of the guys it ain't that hard. First major league home run for Zach Eflin. Now we saw how the ball's traveling. We we saw the ball, you know, every every outfielder so far about hit the center. Or to left, the ball's drifting, and Hector tried to catch it. There he goes. High deep drive in the left field, head to the top of the wall, and that ball is out of 
high here. It's home run. You guessed wrong. <laughs> He'd like number two back. But Martinez connects for number 16. And the Red Sox are on the scoreboard. And they put down the slider. They want that pitch away. Instead, it stays inside. And that's the one that J.D. pulls. And pulls it right into the first row of the Boston seats. So the Red Sox finally scratch the board. Right onto the shelf. Over that red line. So he's pulled even with Mookie Betts for the Major League home run lead at 16. Yankee fans, no reality. Red Sox could win. There's a base hit to right field. Calhoun rounds third, is sending him home. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's out. Oh, what a throw by Judge. And a great tag by Sanchez to get Calhoun for the final out. Well, I tell you one thing. Aaron Judge, his accuracy, he is a true four-seamer. Just straight down a line. Absolutely perfect throw. Sanchez in a good position. And we'll see if that foot gets in there. Nope. Got him. Got caught on the spike. Fly ball down the right field line, giving Chase his judge. And it's a fair ball. Judge plays it quickly. Fires in. And he is. Wow. Out. Oh, what a throw by Aaron Judge. I'll tell you what, Michael. I think. As a defensive player, you can get confidence just like you do when you're hitting, that you can throw out anybody. I mean, this ball has to be within a foot, either direction, or he's safe. And it's right on the money. Fun to see. He'll shoot this one out to right field. Judge is watching this one go, and that is gone. Big fly for Mike Trout. Number 16 of the season ties this one up at one. Talked about as far as go to's take one of those fastballs and go the other way, and that's exactly what Trout did. A Trout fan checking out Trout, touching home plate with his 16th home run of the season, going the other way in right field. Second deck. It's our top tier play brought to you by Arco. Another fastball, but this time drifted enough over the plate. Trout is looking to go the other way. Severino applying the power with that fastball, and Trout hits it out upper deck. Yeah, no wall scraper to right here. And a 1 1 from Whistler. High fly ball left field. A towering fly. It is seats Loki bets with number 17 and his sensational season continues well bets looks like he gets a breaking ball it is Every home run that has been hit tonight by the Red Sox have come off a slider. The one by J.D., the one by Bogots, and now Betts. And one of just three pitchers with multiple 50 save seasons. High fly ball, right field. Going back, Calhoun. Tap. Wall. See ya. He's done it again. Glaber Torres homers for the fourth straight game. And this one gives the Yankees a two to one lead. I'll tell you what, Michael, this is amazing to watch. And he just put himself into history in the Major League group record book. But. Again, not trying to pull the baseball, puts himself in the same position. And I think he's figured out he's strong enough at the major league level in a ballpark like this where he can reach the seats. He's the youngest player ever to homer in four straight games. And the pitch is high to Gardner. Nine home runs for Glaber Torres. Now has 24 runs batted in. Now hitting 333. 